This is just quickly something I noticed in the dock area where I said there could be um, the employee parking area. And you, I was looking at this picture of the dock area when I was doing my research and I see the wires hanging from the roof, which look freshly cut, but that's just my opinion. But could that have been where the camera was and they've taken it down? It does look a little bit suspicious. Now when we look at the dishwasher room, there is a point where just after Kanika goes into the kitchen at about uh, 3.33, at about 3, 3, is it 3.34, something like that, um, this camera comes on but no one is there. Um, I'm going to explain to you in a minute kind of the area and the mapping so you can understand what I'm saying but you'll see it skip in a second and but no one's there and this is just after Kanika has gone into well what people said has gone into the freezer so it is interesting to see um this happen it flash and no one apparently is in that dishwasher room and that's when she is over there in that area I'm going to explain a few things that don't make sense and are a bit off about this footage so this is the map just to give you an idea of what's what in the area so you understand what i'm saying this would have been what is now the kaddish obviously here it's the metro grill rest this is the stairs that she walked up this is the kosher kitchen she was found around here this is the entrance to the dock area where that camera is not working you can see the freight elevator here and then there's another opening over here the hall down the side of the kosher kitchen is roughly here, this little gap here. So that the door that the manager comes in, he goes up this hall and to get into access to that door, okay, to the kitchen. When he goes in, he walks in and walks over here. This is the dishwasher area. Her mother walks up that hall, enters that door, the white doors, and walks into this area. We see her in the dishwasher room talking to the police. This is this area. So if you go in the exit entrance by the dock area, you walk in and you did a left. You enter this area, which you can see in one of the pictures, the dishwash area. You can see the light on in the picture. Okay, so this is all connected. You can go in from here to get into the kitchen, obviously, and also where the caddy shack is. I showed you those doors. You can get in through those doors. You can see those doors would have been roughly around here. So you can see how that's all now connected. So the dock area is very important, okay? So that hall I was talking about down the side of the kosher kitchen that connects to this dishwasher room area and the caddy shack, which, is, which was the Metro Grill Rest, you can see how the manager now got into the kosher kitchen and you can see how it's all connected. When I spoke about the camera going off in a dishwasher room, the camera was facing this way. It was looking down here, which is why you see people entering here. That's what I believe. So there could have been stuff going on over here, people over here. The camera's getting triggered, but no one is seen on the camera. I also believe there could be a sensor in this dock area, which is why people could be coming in and out of this area, triggering, triggering the camera in the dishwash room, but no one, like I said, is going in. So there could be people over, over on this side to the camera and over on this side of the camera, okay? Um, that could also be the reason why that camera in this dock area is said to have been not working. If there is a trigger for this dishwash room here, then someone was here. So that timing when that camera is triggered, like I said, just after she goes in the kitchen, there could have been someone here. She could have come back out or someone could have come in from the dock area. But I hope that helps explain a little bit of what I was saying. This is her going in. So you can see the timing, 3.32. She's going in, drunk. We don't know if there's someone at the back. We don't know if she comes back out. It is interesting to see, though, the shadow. It's almost like she's walking back out and they cut it. So you don't see if she comes back out. I remember that camera, just before she comes in the kitchen, is cut. Well, cut. It's not working. So, yeah, this is the footage again of that timing. Just after she is in 
the kitchen, you can see when you put them together, um, it's interesting to see the flow and that it does make sense that this could be that someone is in that area with her or she's come back out and triggered that camera. We don't know where the sensors are for that camera. It could, they could, the sensors could be in that dock area. Remember, there is also this camera that, that it could possibly have been a camera that doesn't work um, well. It's not, it's being cut, so it's possible that there could have been another camera in that kitchen and they've taken it. If this was a camera, which is looking at the employee parking area, so when we look at it like that, it's interesting to put them all together that there could have been someone else coming in the back of that dock area or she could have come back out from the kitchen out triggered that camera maybe not have gone in there or someone could have come through there not triggered that camera and you know because there is that hallway that leads to the dishwasher room and that kosher kitchen that's on the side of that kosher kitchen remember all these cameras in that same area possibly don't work one of them hasn't even been put on the list and one is a possible one in the employee parking area that I've just spoke about um it does look a little bit suspicious now it really does when you look at the building and the side bits that I was talking about in my last video if you haven't seen it watch it these ditches could explain why she was dirty in that freezer if she came back up the dock area, she could have been dragged up there, gone up there, running away from somewhere, I don't know. But the, that could explain all of this dirt that's on her. If you are going with the belief that she got back out, which is possible, why those cameras were cut, and why the, the camera by the freezer and the camera um, at a, an employee parking possibly was cut in the same way. The police did it. They did the same thing. The employees dealt with the other cameras, so that was why they were dealt with, as in, they don't work. Then remember this rare parking footage, look at the timing. Just because she walked into that freezer doesn't mean that she was dead as soon as she walked in. She could have been alive for a couple of hours. We don't know this. Look at the timing, 3.39 is when this guy in the grey hoodie turns up. She walks in at 3.33. The camera goes off in the dishwasher room at around 3.34, 3.35-ish. He turns up at about 3.39. He sits in his car for a bit, so I do cut it just to make it quicker for the um, video. But it's interesting to see the flow of things when you put them together. Um, you'll see... He stands there for a little bit, waiting. He goes inside, greets Minifa and the others by, lo by the lobby and then comes back out, which you'll see in a second, where you'll see them walk across and come back where the footage is cut. Now that area where they are is right by the dock. Where they're walking across they're walking across over to the dock area. I'll put an image up with an arrow showing you that where the arrow is where it's blue, they walk. that's where they're walking. And you can see the dock to the right. They're walking in that direction. So now you see this guy in a hoodie going to his car wait and then it's cut. It does look very, very dodgy to me. Um... It's very odd to see the flow like this. Uh, it gave me chills to watch this little bit. I mean, it could be nothing. It's my opinion, but I've always been funny about that. Um, guy with the grey hoodie. He just doesn't sit well with me. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think in the comment section.